Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be me and Neos versus Cap Mixon and John Galt, or No Limits. Now, the map will be Mile Lands, and of course, before we start, go on and smash the like button, and of course, subscribe. Turn on the notification to all notifications so you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Okay, let's go! New objective. Okay, and so I'm going to be the red player, and my partner will be the yellow player, and that will be Neos. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, now thanks to the lag, I was not able to get a lot of containers, which is pretty much annoying, and that gives me a very big disadvantage. Now going HQ3, adding an anti-air because I'm so late in tech. Okay, given the... Uh, collection or the container I collected and I see that this guy has two vehicle factories for Zeus so I'm not going for a quick HQ4 but of course I did <laughs> I risked it okay I risked the uh, HQ4 transition there and now Jaguars scout on the blue player space hmm, not too shabby with the uh, Zeus torrent and vertex okay with a rocket tower to prevent any rush attacks, which is quite nice. Alright. Now, we see my partner here is doing very good. Already on HQ4, he got a good amount of container where I, again, thanks to the lag, okay, played uh, badly on container collection. But we're not going to give up just yet. Alright. And so, I'm going to do some nasty trick here uh, versus this uh, blue and uh, green right here. I'm going to have to play... A nasty trick whereas I'm going to completely transition into another composition which that you know threw their game off okay now I'm waiting for that scout to see my base having one factory and one special vehicle factory we get my, my partner here two vehicle factory two special vehicle factory enemies base okay we see the Zeus there in position of the green player waiting for that scout Okay, and as you guys can see, I expanded my base with a construction yard. Okay, now they saw my base having one uh, vehicle, you know, one factory apiece. Okay, so they pretty much think that nobody will go air, but nah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna have to try and be annoying in terms uh, of that matter or in that regard. Okay, and as you guys can see, as soon as those vertex docked. I'm going to change my army composition and I'll be producing avia as I already mentioned or told my partner I'll produce aviation okay hence the reason why I only have one vehicle factory and one special vehicle factory and now I'm quickly transitioning and using gold construction boost to speed up the construction and upgrade okay my partner is already moving out to buy me some time of course it's actually a very good uh, thing that he did there. Otherwise, those uh, Vertex Scout will, of course, inevitably scout my base. And that will throw the surprise uh, transition to a knot. Okay, here goes. Thors are going to make a bombing run. Mm-hmm. Nice bombing run, though. Although not the very best of hits, but still, nice bombing run. Mmm. That Thor is badly bruised up. Okay, he's uh, actually uh, trying to uh, position himself at a great uh, position there at the center of the map. Although that sweet spot is very bombable. <laughs> bombable. Okay. Now we see here, I'm going to try and move out with my small army. You know, like, uh, they did not see how many uh, how many units are inside the fog. So they it can be anything. Okay, or any amount which they can imagine. Okay, we see here the blue player. Okay, my partner could not do anything just yet because uh, there's like an entrances, of course, choke points. Mm, blue player trying to position over here for a better engagement. And I told my partner to attack at point D at the front. And here I am trying to buy some time as to somehow occupy the Thors of the green player into bombing my army instead of my partner's army. Okay, I'm going to have to try and avoid or dodge that. 
Okay, he has a second detachment there as my partner. Flame Assault. Okay, ooh, a solid bombing run there on my hand. I was not expecting that. Okay, I was not expecting that <laughs> bombing run. I completely forgot. I was zoning out. Ooh, man, those torrents are nasty. Doing some heavy amount of damage right there. Doing some heavy amount. Oh, man. Okay, those torrents are going to force fire yet again. Shredding those units apart from inside the fog. Mm-hmm. Now, only three units are inside the fog right now. Now, here goes my Hawks. And completely caught them off guard. No anti-air. Just a few typhoons. So I'm going to have to destroy those torrents. And, of course, give my partner a chance to infiltrate the base. Okay, here goes the chaos. As you guys can see, those Vertex are trying to destroy my Hawks. Oh, man. Okay, but, of course, luckily my... Uh, partner has a lot of porcupines right here to support my hawks and those stores made a quick entrance right there man we see a rampage here I'm going to have to retreat with my hawks of course and here goes again attacking attack attack and attack that's all okay rocket tower is down again vertex going to undock and get obliterated by those porcupines Zeus are still here. Man, that choke point. <laughs> Man, the confeds really, really maximized on it or utilized that choke point at the very best, you know. Oh man, those torrents are raining rampage there. Of course, my partner's army will be demolished as, of course, confeds are like camping. That's their main gameplay. Camp, 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 all the way. Okay, here goes. And let's see here. Hawks, I'm gonna have to try and move in. Just take a shield right there. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and destroy that. Oh wow, where Hawks could not destroy it. Okay, there it goes. Cleaned up the shield for free. And are now going again to attack the blue player without any air defenses. Okay, just one Typhoon ain't gonna cut it versus this many Hawks that I have. Okay, I'm gonna have to shred those torrents apart. Okay, Vertex from the green player trying to help out here. Man. This really threw their game off. <laughs> Managed to get myself a lot of kills, you know, with the Hawks using you know, using the Hawks and killing those Torrents. And here goes my partner again with a huge detachment. And I have a small detachment myself right there. I'm gonna have to try and be annoying and get right at the top of the base of this blue player. Okay, he's going to make a good concave there and attack while the Torrents are still not that big. Of a number okay those tours managed to uh, uh, not really bomb effectively I got like five Jaguars there along with my chameleon Ooh, nice bombing run okay oh man shredded the units apart that's a lot of tours okay here goes the green players like trying to somehow you know like trans somehow help his partner by sending his army to his partner's base but of course, I'm not going to allow that. Here goes again. The Hawks going to shred those torrents apart. And here goes my army going at the top side of the blue player's base from the other entrance. And are going to backdoor that, that airfield containing the, the Thors. Oh man, those units are out of position. Mm-hmm. We see some uh, rampage over here. Okay. And I'm going to, of course, have my uh, small group of Jaguars, you know, unite or combine with my partner's army. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, a scout on the green player's base to see what he has. Okay, he, gets, he has plenty of doors. I saw five doors right there. And his partner's base will be demolished. Of course, he's just supporting with the doors. Meanwhile, I'm sending my army over here to attack the... The, the part his partner and zoning out his units entirely okay the units arrived completely late okay and mm, mm, not a very best store bombing run my partner managed to dodge oh man again <laughs> all right so we managed to clean up the blue player space and we're gonna have to march on to the green player's base. Okay, so respect plus to this blue uh, green guy for not giving up. Okay, he's giving it his all. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, we're gonna have to clean up the rest of the blue player's base at this point in time. Okay.
Okay. Man, and this is all started when I collected like two to three containers. And, you know, had a massive, massive tech switch deceiving both enemies. Into thinking that nobody will go air. <laughs> that completely caught them off guard. Okay, I'm going to add more anti-air upon seeing those Thors. Because, of course, my base is a big candidate to be bombed by Thors. Since, of course, I have the Avia. Okay. So my partner is moving into a position to somehow attack the green player at the bottom side of his base. Mm-hmm. The green player getting into a good position. The Thors are now going to make a BAM! Okay, that's actually a very good bombing run, although he will lose a one Thor, but that's totally worth it. Okay, that choke point again. Okay, I have my small detachment right here. Okay, what I preemptively planned was to somehow attack with my Jaguar Chameleon. Okay, my small detachment to, of course, get the attention of those Thors and the Zeus into firing at my army and taking away the screen from my partner's army. That'll give him a chance, but the thing is, the uh, execution was not perfect. I went super, super soon, <laughs> sooner than his army did. Hence, my army got cleaned up real fast. Okay, those stores are going to bomb my base now. Let's see how this plays out. I'm going to use... Mm-hmm. Air Raid Warning. And, of course, I have Hawks. And I'm going to have to destroy or obliterate all those stores that I can obliterate. Okay. Now, since they destroyed my airfields, I'm going to have my Hawks go on attack. And destroy as many zoos and shield as I can. Of course, I don't want my my hawks to lose lose them because of the lack of airfield. But I'd like I'd like to have them used up in a get in a very good manner. There it goes destroying a Thor right there. That is Doc level five HQ as this green player. Okay, and uh, let's see if we can manage a good hit. Nice hit, very good. Okay, we managed to clean up a lot of Zeus right there and managed to destroy a Thor. Blue player trying to come back into the game, but of course a Jaguar will not allow that to happen. Okay, I got another detachment there. The, a huge army from my partner and are now going to uh, destroy this green player's base. Let's see, I'm going to try and buy time and be as annoying as humanly possible. Okay, sending one Jaguar ahead. Okay. Uh, just not actually a good micro right there. I think he was lagging as well as I do Okay, I informed my partner that I'll be moving at point a which is at uh, the top side of the mountain right there on the minimap Oh, man those stores managed to land a clean hit However, there's not really that many Thors now and there's not really that many Zeus here from the green player, too But my partner has a huge chunk of army Meanwhile, I'm going to provide assistance here by attacking the vehicle factory, reducing the Zeus count production, or the Zeus production of this green player. Okay, another Thor just popped out out of that Avia factory, and those Zeus are slowly but surely ending their lives, man. Okay, they're not gonna live that long, even with a shield generator against that many Jaguars right there. There's like five ja or Jaguars right here. Oh man, and then I'm gonna have to lounge at the enemy's uh, uh, inside of the enemy base. Only one rocket tower will not cut it versus five Jaguars as you guys can see right there. Those uh, Thors are going to scramble and of course make use of their bombing runs while they are alive. Oh man, oh nice Thor bombing run though still. Okay, space system of course, camping setup, can bed, you know, you know the deal. Alright, and so, I'm gonna have to, of course, attack this uh, airfields right there. And you see my partner saying that he played badly. I also played badly, but um, I I'm not sure if the, uh, well, I think the confederation here played even more worse. So, <laughs> I lag like crazy indeed. Okay, and so at this point, it's pretty much clear as day as to who will win this battle. So, yeah. Of course, if you liked the video, 
go on ahead smash the like button and of course leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts into this video and likewise don't forget to check my other videos as they, as they contain tips and tricks that can actually help you with a battle. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. We're just going to have to clean up the rest of the green player's base right here. Again, until the very end, is going to fight. Respect plus. Respect. Respect plus, green player. There goes. Oh, man. I love the sight of this. The hawks are like shredding them apart. Now, again, guys. I mean, you can always deceive your enemy by doing what I did right here. <laughs> you know, I, I uh, deceived them so badly that they don't really have that much anti-air at all. Alright, well. There it goes. GG. Nios Imba. Ooh -hoo. There goes, there goes the HQ. No more buildings. And it's gonna be done. Bam. Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck with your battles. Victory. Victory. Bye now.